that. Thousand and one ways of doing it. It all depends on the potter himself. The clay will tell me what vessel I can make. And I have to knead the clay to prepare it. It's a real discipline like Chinese calligraphy. It must be done properly. The British, they will do it the bulldog method. The Chinese, the Japanese, they will do chrysanthemum wedging, circular. Every pot done on the wheel will reveal the potter. If you don't do properly, you create air bubble inside the clay, and then when it dries up and you put in the oven or the kiln, it will explode. When you see it's on the wheel, you can do it in five minutes, four minutes, it's very fast. But in reality, it takes 10 years. You have to master the speed of the wheel. You must master the clay, how hard or how soft. Once you have done the work, you have to dry it in the sun. After once it's bone dry, you can paint whatever you want. Once that's done, you put it in the kiln to heat it up to 1,000 degrees. You take it out. When it's cool, we call that piece a biscuit. Once the biscuit is being done, you pour glaze inside to make it waterproof. In ceramic art, you still need the science part of it. That means the burning, the firing, the chemicals. You must know chemistry. There's a science part. But the making of the item is the art part. Pottery is a culture, and that culture comes with discipline.